Um, so I'm here to talk about Facebook. And Facebook is a very interesting platform for marketers for many reasons. There are over 900 million users on Facebook, and these users volunteer their personal information. They give you your age, their gender, even their relationship status, and what they're interested in. As an advertiser, I can take advantage of this information. I can create an ad, for example, and I can target 24-year-old females who live in Vancouver who like ice cream. So my ad can be shown specifically to the 4,820 people who meet these exact characteristics. However, one of the problems with Facebook ads is that the ads are not prominent. They're relatively hidden in the right-hand column of Facebook. The title and the text are not too long. And the only thing a marketer can really do to grab a user's attention is to take advantage of that small 110 by 80 pixel image. That image is going to be the focus of my talk today. But first, I'd actually like to get a quick show of hands. Um, who is on Facebook? Should be pretty much everyone. OK, fantastic. One more question. Who actually clicks on Facebook ads? As expected, most people won't admit to clicking on Facebook ads. <laughs> or most likely, they don't remember clicking on Facebook, Facebook ads. But what I'm here to tell you is that people click. And I'm going to tell you which images make them click. So at Ad Parlor, we run advertising through our technology for hundreds of large brands and agencies, effectively making us one of the largest advertisers on the platform. So we looked at all this data, over 300 billion ad impressions, over 200 million clicks across 73 countries, and we were looking for which images make users click on the ad. Now, some of the results were fairly obvious. You put some beautiful woman, and guys are going to click. You put up some shiny shoes, and females will click. But we were looking for something abnormal, images that appeal to people across ages, genders, and countries. Take a look at the eight images on the screen. Which of these images do you think perform the best? Surprisingly, the tilted house performed much better than any other image, and actually resulted in over 6 million clicks across advertisers, across <coughs> ages, genders, and countries. So we said, this is great. Let's use more tilted houses in our advertising. <laughs> we'll get more clicks, we'll generate more revenue, and everyone will win. So we tried more tilted houses, <laughs> and more, and more. Yet none of these tilted houses seem to produce the same results as the original tilted house. So we continued to test out other images to see what would work, until we found another winner, the Big Taco. <laughs> Again, the Big Taco performed extremely well. People would click on that taco for no apparent reason, and we got millions and millions of clicks throughout Facebook on the Big Taco. Again, we tried to reproduce the success, but couldn't find a taco which produced the same result as the original. Over and over again, we found certain images, unusual images, that performed very well. The rainbow water slide, the mud people, the blue whale. Hopefully, some of you have seen some of these images on Facebook. Um, but again and again, over and over, we could not reproduce the success by trying to find a similar image. So what does this tell us? One, there are certain images that everyone loves across ages, across genders, across countries. Two, these images that performed well were actually amateur photographs, not the professional stock photography that most advertisers push through. And number three, we were really not good at trying to guess which images work. So you must test vigorously, find out what works. So to all the marketers and advertisers out there, I would say stop wasting your money trying to take that perfect professional image. Stop wasting your time trying to pick out which image will work. Test, learn, and believe in the data. Thank you.